Welcome dear students for today's online session of third semester BCA of the subject system software affiliated to Quimp University. So today we are having the session number 23 and it is focusing on the concept called as relocating loaders from the unit number 2 titled assembler and loaders. So before moving on to know what a reloading loader is, let us now have a recap of our previous class. So in the previous class, dear students, you have learnt about what do you mean by a subroutine, linkages and how it has to be performed with the help of an example. So learning objectives of today's session is to understand the one of the important loader that is called as a relocating loader. So the session outcomes of today's session will be the student will be able to understand what a relocating loader is and how it is going to work. So now let's understand what do we mean by a relocating loader. So I think you are all are familiar about what is this loader, this is a system software, why it is meant for, so where it is going to play its role, everything we know already. So now we will identify a special type of loader which is called as relocating. Dear students, you know here we are speaking about the address or we are speaking about the location of a particular instruction in the memory and here not we are not speaking only about the location, here we are speaking about relocation. So this relocation is a special task which is being done by a loader which is termed as a relocating loader. Now let us understand in a technical term what do we mean by this process called as relocation. See this relocation is nothing but it's a simple procedure of modernizing the addresses used in the address sensitive instruction of a program. So here we are going to perform some operations on the addresses of our instruction there. It is essentially that such an alteration should aid to carry out the program from the preferred area of the memory. So this is the advantage of a relocation loader. Here the assembler will produce us the object code. This you know. This object code gets executed after loading to some particular storage position. Yes. So the addresses of such object code will get specified only after the assembly process is over. Thus, after loading, the address of the object code will be mere address of the object code plus along with the relocation constant. This is what we are understanding in this relocation loader. So, dear students, here when we speak about the addresses in relocation, we, we come across two different types of or two different kinds of addresses will be produced here. The first one is called as absolute address and the second one is called as relative address which are very important. See the absolute address can be directly utilized to map the object code in the main memory while the relative address is only after the addition of relocation constant to the object code address. So this is the major difference between your absolute and your relative address. So I think you got to know that the relocation constant is related to your relative address and it's not related to your absolute address there. So this sort of adjustment needs to be completed in case of your relative address before definite execution of the code. So here the major important thing is we are focusing on relative addressing. Okay, so with this you understood what is a relocation loader and how it is going to run and what type of addresses we are going to use here. So now let's have a few MCQs on today's learning. So the first question is relocation bits used by relocating loader are specified by what? Whether it is specified by assembler, linker, loader or num and the answer is it is specified by the linker. So the next question is, is linker same as a loader? You have to tell whether it is yes or no. And the answer is, yes, linker is same as a loader. It is doing the same task. So a self-relocating program is one itself performing the relocation of its address sensitive position. Is it yes or no? Yes, the name itself is telling. The answer is yes. And the next is loaders that allow for program relocation, what they are called as, whether they are called as relocating loader, yes or no. And the answer is true. So the loader that allow for program relocation, they will be termed as a name called as relocating loaders. And the last one is relocation bit used by the relocating loader to solve the problem of relocation. Yes, it is called as what? Relocation bits only. 
So dear students, now we understood one of the major concept of our loader called as relocation loader. So the, at the end of this session summary, the student is able to understand what do we mean by relocating loader along with what do we mean by addressing in terms of relative and absolute. So dear students, you can also do further studying by, uh, by using the book authored by John Donovan and the title of the book is System Programming.